mercy be of ever upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. We thank God for his mercy and his favor upon our lives that we are here once again to share the love of God and to understand the purpose of life. Life is from above. It is not from our ancestral or our village. No, life is from above. That's why we are here to say, Father, thank you for the gift of life. There are so many people who want to be where you are. But they could not manage. Even the level of your age, how many people have gone uncountable? This is why you need to appreciate the love of God. Even those who are watching this program, appreciate the love of God, the gift of life. And let us know where you are watching us from so that we continue standing together and appreciating the love of God in our lives. Praise the Lord. John chapter 12, verse 28. This is Jesus. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified, and I will glorify it again. 29, the crowd that was there and heard it said, it thunders, others said, an angel had spoken to him. 30, Jesus said, this voice was for your benefit, not mine. Take note of that. He said, this voice was for your benefit, not mine. That is Jesus now, because if you look at his word, he said, Father, glorify your name. I'm still talking about the example that I gave you last Wednesday. That a child who cannot misbehave is someone who is always with the Father. The instructions, the guidance, the direction, the command that your father will give you, you will not depart from them because your father is always with you to support you. And whatever you are going to see or become in life is to glorify his holy name. Praise the Lord. No one can live a separate life from his father and expect that child to become successful. Even in our physical nature, you cannot. He said, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. This is God now answered. I have glorified. And I will glorify it again. The crowd that were there had hated and said, it thunders. Others said, an angel had spoken to him. Then Jesus answered them. This voice was for your benefits. Meaning, my coming here to be with you here on earth is for your own benefits. I am not here to do anything on my own. No, I am here to redeem you, to give you life. Praise the Lord. Listen to uh, third one. Now the time of judgment on this world now 
Sorry, let me read this one again. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. The prince of this world will be driven. Judgment, immediately Jesus landed here on earth. That was the day of what? Judgment. What does it mean? You may not agree with me because you are the student of the Bible. Some of you, you are lecturers of the Bible. But I want, to know, I want you to know this. His coming is to separate the right from the wrong. Meaning, if you choose to be on the wrong, you have already what? You have already what? I can't hear you. He said, judgment is now. The prince of this world will be driven out. Meaning, he has come to deliver you. That deliverance is judgment to devil and his demons. If you choose to go back to that life, you blame yourself. Because he has already declared that the prince of this world will be driven out. Where? From our life, from our body. That is judgment. For you to be chased away from that place, you are a criminal. They are already charging you that this one is a criminal. Taking you to court is just a formality. They will bring the evidence. Yes, we caught him red handed. He was stealing. Oh, it's a criminal. Where are the evidence? The evidence is here. The prince of this world will be driven out. His coming is to bring freedom. His coming is to make sure that we live under his power and remain in his presence. Where you cannot sing or go back to your old life. Are you there, people of God? Listen to 32. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. This is Jesus. Meaning, by, by the time you know my father will take me away from this life, all the people who come to me, how? He's telling you that Satan is now defeated by me. Even those people that you, you know were his followers, who before me, I have shown my love to the world. I have shown the power to the world. I have shown the world that Satan is powerless on the face of Jesus. So, the truth is on the table. So all the people, I will draw all to myself. At the mention of the name Jesus, Satan must submit. In his presence, Satan must run away. If you remain in his presence, you are for Jesus. Are you there? Listen to the way you people of this generation, you answer to the word of God. This is verse 33. He said this, to show the kind of death he's going to die. The kind of what? His death on the cross of Calvary was not a natural what? Death. But a sacrifice to defeat the power of sin. That's why he said, immediately, you know, Yapua. Now, when he never threw a kunjipaya, now, when I'm a kurita, and then Milango put it even you, you can defeat Satan in my name. That is the name Jesus. Hmm. I don't know if you, you understand this scripture the way I understand this one. He said this to show the kind of death he's going to die. 34. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the Lord that the Messiah will remain forever. So how can you say the son of man must be lifted up? And who is this son of man? That is the answer from the religious person. We have heard from the Lord of Moses that Messiah shall remain here on earth forever. How can you say that yes, the son of man shall be I mean, lifted up? And who is that son of man? 
you can even see that even understanding was a problem to someone who is rooted on the things of this world. Challenging the solution to your life because of the standard of this world, because of the little knowledge that you got from school, or maybe from religious school, it doesn't mean that you know everything about Jesus. What made the people of that time not to understand him is because the Spirit of God was not in them. They trusted the knowledge more than the giver of what? Knowledge. Are you there? Let me uh, conclude this message. It's a long message, but uh, let me just speak one or two things here so that you Number one, Jesus said, Father, glorify your name. Meaning, whatever you are doing in my life, glory is for you. Let me just receive the answer. Then glory and honor is for you. Number two, in 30, Jesus said, this voice was for your own benefits. What does it mean to you and me? Simply means, as a child of God, there's no way you can pray without talking to your father. So, let me read the 30, 35. Then Jesus told them, you are going to have the light just for a little while. Walk while you have the light. For a little while, you are going to have what? The light. Walk while you have what? The light. Before darkness overtake you, whoever walks in dark does not know where they are going. Let me hand there. Who is the light? That is Jesus. light he is the light. He is what? I want you to know this. What Jesus is telling you is saying, the power lies in his name to control your life and to protect your life. There is no need to be worried if you are in Jesus. He said, this voice is for your own benefit. Bambiatio these are the people who are claiming to be what? Children of God. If you conclude the message there, it's talking about to be the children of what? The light. That is the main point. If you conclude the readings. 36. You find that word. You need to be the children of what? The light. He is the light. He is the word. Whether you like it or not, you cannot live without him. He is what? If you know you are with the Father 24 7, I'm sure your behavior will be like your father. If the character of your father is good, you'll be, you know, like your father with a good character. 
Nga chaka tiba wisota wako wate misangwa isu mananguwa noko. Nga baku luku na woka sambili lenshi. Because wawo sangwa na wawo. No mangabari kwa te misangwa isu mwole sangwa na woka kwa te ishi. Misangwa isu. Let me end there. I don't want to say much. But I'll still come back to this message. God bless you.